Mumbai's air has been hazardous to breathe. As winter sets in, there have been several days where the city's air quality has been in the very poor or severe categories. And that continues to send many vulnerable citizens rushing to the doctor. We are facing many problems like cough, cold and even burning eye sensation due to this air pollution and the smoke present in the air. There's been no mechanism to issue health advisories in pockets where the air is toxic. But a slew of other measures have been announced by the local civic body. Adding air monitoring stations and deploying more water sprinklers to settle the dust are some of them. With experts blaming increased construction activity as a factor in high concentration of dust particles in the air, large-scale construction projects have been mandated to install metal sheets in their periphery. And non-compliance has led to stop work notices. However, ongoing key infrastructure projects cannot be put on hold. With the cycle of sea breezes blowing away dust particles, Mumbai's air quality had always relatively been clean. But that's changed in the past two to three years. Erratic weather patterns and higher surface temperatures mean that this geographical advantage is now less effective in keeping air pollution in check. This year, for example, a delayed monsoon withdrawal has led to slower surface wind speeds and temperatures in Mumbai have been higher than usual. At the same time, cooler winter air has been blowing in too. The meeting of the hot surface winds with the cooler breeze has resulted in a vortex of sorts, trapping in dust particles rather than blowing them away. Worryingly, these trends could be here to stay. The climate change is something which is, which is doing something unusual, unprecedented all the time. Uh, this could be a, a kind of a, you know, phenomena which will repeat every year. But there is a high probability that it may repeat with a much more strongness. Experts say mitigating the effects of such erratic weather patterns has to be planned in a methodical and scientific manner. And while measures like decongesting vehicular traffic or adding monitoring stations is a start, the approach to fighting pollution is a long-term game because so is climate change.